Hi, this is Matt from Tracy and Matt.co.uk and from Boxings.com. Here I have the Acer Liquid Metal, one of the uh, latest in the liquid range of handsets from Acer, which has been pretty successful for Acer actually, it has to be said. So we're going to take a quick look. The handset itself immediately on top, which we'll come back to in a second. And underneath uh, we have, there we go. So underneath we have the Quick Start Guide. Uh, which covers the basics. There's only about uh, eight or so pages in each language to cover the sort of basics for getting started. Safety information, warranty, and then a couple of compartments underneath. So uh, first of all, we have a UK plug and USB style charger. That's the USB socket on the top, and a UK three pin plug combined to make the charger and then there's a battery which is uh, 1500 milliamp hours it's a fairly large battery we're gonna need that in a moment so I'll put that to one side then we have a micro SD card and SD card to micro SD card adapter that's a two gigabyte SD card micro SD card then underneath on the bottom have a case, small, uh, fairly plastic case, uh, which pinches up like so, and then I imagine okay, the handset squeezes inside, inside like so. So, not a bad looking case. Uh, not a big fan of cases in general. But uh, it's nice to have that supplied as an accessory, rather than it being an extra. Right, and then finally, we have a USB to micro USB sync charge cable, and a wired headset, which is, has a four pole three and a half mil jack on one end, a uh, length of cable, an inline microphone with a push button. It's quite chunky. There's uh, no volume control or anything like that on it. Little clip, to clip it on clothing, and then the headphones themselves, which um, are kind of okay in terms of how they look. But uh, as I always mention, I am pretty sure that almost everybody will want to use their own favourite headphones rather than the wired headset. Let's move all these bits out of the way and look at the handset itself. So on the front, uh, as you can see, it's actually slightly curved on the front as well. Sort of, sort of got a bit of a radius to the front. Uh, there's a 3.6 inch display, which is 480 by 800 pixels. Um, underneath that, we have the obligatory four buttons, which is uh, actually non-physical. They're actually touch sensitive. So home, search, back, and menu button. On the left-hand side, there doesn't appear to be anything. As you can see, it's a sort of chromed finish to go, with, I guess, with the name, liquid metal. Um, but the left hand side is completely clean. On the bottom we have a uh, hole there which is the microphone and then the micro USB sync charge connector on the bottom too. The only thing about the chrome finish, mirror finish, is that it is uh, extremely prone to fingerprints as we can already see. Uh, on the right hand side we have a dedicated camera button on the bottom there, very small. And then up and down volume control again, very small little push buttons on, on the side there. On the top, 3.5mm headphone socket for uh, using the obviously the supplied wired headset or your own headphones and then a power button. On the back there's a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with LED flash uh, and unusually uh, the flash is underneath the camera assuming you use it in this orientation which you would do with the button on the bottom, uh, button on the top under your finger uh, the flash is underneath. So that's, I don't think it really makes a huge difference, but it is uh, a change nonetheless. Uh, back cover is completely made of metal, as you can see there, and uh, has this sort of uh, metallic y grey accents on either side. Uh, again, keeping in keeping with uh, the brand name there of uh, liquid metal. Now let's try and remove the back cover, um, like so. And underneath, obviously, we have the large battery cavity, which we will fill with the battery. 
uh, micro SD card slot here, which supports up to 32 gig micro SD HC memory cards, and your SIM card socket just next to that as well. There's also a small reset button there, which can be pressed with your finger. Um, I always find it a little bit strange to have a reset button underneath the battery cover, because uh, to be honest with you, if I've gone to the effort of removing the battery cover, I might as well just pull the battery. But there we go. You got options, I suppose. Okay, so let's just uh, power on while we wait for that to power on. Run down the rest of the specification. It's quad band for GSM and tri band for just DPA, so it will work pretty much wherever you're going to take it throughout the world, which is very good. 115 millimeters from top to bottom, 63 millimeters wide, and at its widest point there in the middle, it's 13 and a half millimeters thick. Feels quite lightweight, weighs only 135 grams. Um, the display technology is uh, regular TFT. Uh, and as I say, it's 480 by 800 pixels, 3.6 inch. Um, 512 meg of RAM and 512 meg of ROM, which is pretty good. And uh, the video, ca the camera on the back camera called video at 700, uh, 720p HD, so that's also pretty decent. Most most of these devices now are coming with uh, HD video recording capability, though, so that's uh, I suppose that's nothing new, but it's good that it's got it. Um, Wi-Fi supports 802.11 BG and uh, I believe N standards uh, with Bluetooth 2.1 with A2DB support, etc. Uh, built in GPS uh, and proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, all those sorts of bits and pieces too. And uh, 800 megahertz uh, Scorpion processor. And finally, Android 2.2. So that's the specification out of the way. Let's have a quick look now actually at the operating system. One thing that is kind of strange about it and um, is a is a little bit different is the fact that with this front cover or the front face being slightly curved there is a noticeable, noticeable distance between the front area touchscreen and the actual um, LCD there. I don't know if that's really going to be uh, obvious on the camera there but there is this distance which um, might feel kind of strange. I mean I have had other, other devices like that in the past. Um, anyway so let's get going uh, I'm going to skip the learning how to use. We will connect to Wi-Fi. So let's see if we can find a Wi-Fi network. Okay, let's go ahead and connect. And we have the really straightforward Android QWERTY keyboard there. And if I turn have the landscape version which is obviously that much larger. So let's go and put in the key. And there we go, obtaining an IP address. And we are connected, so there we go. We have a Google account, now sign into that. Okay, and we've signed into a Gmail account. Uh, we can use Google location, that's fine and we'll accept all of the other settings there you go, we use automatic 24 hour format that's telling me that I can shake the handset to mute any alarms and to switch songs I can also shake uh, I'm going to go and install Flash Player because it's telling me I need to do so straight away so let's go ahead and do that Flash Player 10.2 See the latest version. Let's let that go do its thing. And while it's doing that, that's it. We'll go back to the home screen. So on the home screen, it has Acer's own user interface, uh, which is actually called Breeze, and it's uh, 4.0, um, which is quite nice. So we've got the few icons down the bottom, and this sort of liquid style uh, with uh, liquid on the screen there. We can swipe across, I believe. Yep, there we go. So we've got other bits and pieces there showing our running history and also the bits down the bottom if I push the button at the bottom I get the full list up as you can see there all of the installed applications are the favorite parts at the top uh, anything there and all the other bits underneath which we have three pages of as we can see there if we're going to Android market it should have signed in with my Gmail account so we can look at the Android market that's pretty standard stuff as you can see there, and you got your music, your apps, and everything else. New, just in, top free, etc. So that's kind of cool. Let me 
I just well, go back home out of there. Uh, Google Maps. Which has immediately gone to the USA, but I'm sure. Wait for location. I am indoors, so it might take a while, if at all, to actually pick up a GPS signal. Maybe we'll come back to that later on. A couple of notifications down the bottom, as you can see there. So we just tap on those. And you can say, "Okay, welcome to Liquid Metal," and that the SD card is currently removed. Well, I didn't bother to put it in, so never mind. Come back out there. Uh, you can see here over on this side. You've got the status, so it's telling me that I've got no SIM card, the wireless is connected, uh, we've got, obviously got no network signal therefore, and the battery is kind of low. Um, that's just shown there. Uh, we'll go to the web browser, let's take a quick look. And uh, let's go to There we go, it's one of the suggestions. Let's see how quickly that comes up. So obviously we're using broadband connection. It's rendering very quickly. Uh, display is nice and clean and quite bright. Obviously the accelerometer does work. So we can zoom in and out and scroll around. But the browsing, browsing experience is, is pretty straightforward, pretty standard. It's nothing terribly different to really any other uh, Android powered device right now. Um, very, very samey, quite frankly. But uh, good nonetheless. That's not a criticism. The dialer. I'll see dial our numbers. Again, quite straightforward. Uh, we've got YouTube, which we can search for. The OD, which is my YouTube alias. So we've got a few videos here. Pick one. There we go. Started playing pretty quickly. Uh, it's playing in HQ. So the buffer time was very quick and it plays more or less straight away. So that's quite good. What else do we have under here? Uh, we've got a thing for widgets. There we go, and we can see various widgets. So that's a nice weather, a missed call widget. Events, my location, I'm coming back the other way, music, and a blank one there. So that's again kind of cool. I'll go back home. Uh, we've got home decor setting, Nemo player, there's a gallery, uh, Android update, and there's uh, documents, spinlets, uh, Google search, and voice search, that's kind of cool. So it's all pretty straightforward. I've got to have a, look, a quick look at the Gmail. As you can see, the Gmail has brought down my messages already because we signed in earlier on. Uh, it has all the Welcome to Android stuff already in there. So that's kind of cool. And got Twitter already. There's another icon there for email, so we can set up a regular email account which supports POP3, IMAP, and obviously Exchange. So that's pretty good. Um, I think that covers sort of the main features. Let's see if the... Oh, can't pick up my location still. Oh, there we go. It has picked up my location. There we go. The uh, Even indoors, the GPS has picked up location accurate to within 40 metres at the moment. So that's, yeah, it hasn't done too bad a job. So as I say, that's the HSA Liquid Metal. I have a full review for you on site. Um, over the next few weeks once we have a chance to really use it. Um, as with all of our reviews we actually do make the effort to use the handset as um, a regular device um, over a week or so so we get to know what it's like for call quality and everything else. So that review will be up in the uh, in the next few weeks. In the meantime if you want to follow us on Twitter it's twitter.com slash Tracy and Matt or facebook.com slash Tracy and Matt dot uk. So I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on Tracy and Matt dot uk. But for now, thanks for watching. Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with Unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.